when I set in motion that I was coming here and it was all con uh, confirmed, I had surgery at home where I was very, very ill for five days. I had to be fed and I couldn't stand up and I was totally, totally, extremely ill. And uh, the entities were telling me that it was preliminary surgery so that when I got here, they could get straight into the real stuff. So I had to ask the entities to put it on the back burner for a, a few days so that I could actually get well enough to travel here. I was too ill to travel and now I could <laughs> run up the hill. <laughs> <laughs> for me, it's my great life here. It's for me my feeling every time with God and it get more and more and more. That is the greatest for me. My what is this? What is this? Is this? I. What says Verbindung? Oh, he's sleeping. Misha. What says Verbindung? Connection. Connection. Yes. Yes, and that is for me the greatest. I found it here, and it's. I love it, and it's everywhere where I look and go. It's not the, uh, to be with a lot of people. I don't can. Uh, go with a lot of people here and there. For me it's a great it's my connection with God and the love. Uh, to me this place is the most spiritual place in the world. The spirit is so present here. It's just everywhere. It's so rich, so powerful, so strong. And the spirit speaks to me all the time through books, through people, through nature signs and dreams and voices in my head and I, you know, I feel like totally um, like in a cocoon that the spirit is always with me, you know, it's just the most wonderful experience The mo and, and the stories you hear from people is the most amazing stories, so I just, I just love it here. <laughs> I have a a pancreas problem where part of the organ was missing congenitally and that's being reconstructed and I have lupus and that was affecting the heart, lungs and brain and I've had a, a small stroke and a mild cardiac arrest and this is all now being taken care of beautifully and it's ongoing and I feel so wonderful. <laughs> you couldn't do this six months ago. <laughs> six months? <laughs> six months ago? I can nice walk. <laughs> okay, I'm a medical doctor, so, and I met Gila 21 years ago. So, and then she get an osteomyelitis <coughs> and a really heavy osteomyelitis. So, when you see on scan, the bones are really very thin. <coughs> now, also the knee um, has an osteomyelitis. And from the mechanical point of view, it's not possible to stand on it. Just, for, just by mechanical, because the walls are so tiny, so thin. Great, because there's a lot of power on your knee when you stand on it. That's a miracle for me, just to to uh, <coughs> stand on the knee. She feels better. She can walk. She can stretch it a little bit. From a medical point of view, it's not. I can't explain it. Put it this way. I've had. Uh A trust issue. Now, uh, a trust issue, um, probably the s most important thing here is to trust that John of God and the entities are going to do what they're saying they're going to do, which is heal me, and they said it four times. Um, so now, um, I realized how hard it is to trust a human being, and here I'm trusting, I have to trust an invisible entity, some something I haven't seen, something I don't know what it looks like, how it works, I don't know the science behind the healing. Um, so I'm putting my whole life into the hand of 
I don't know what it is. And trusting is like a bodybuilder that would lift a weight, a bar with two heavy weights on each side. And so here, that's what we have to do all the time, all day, all night, is have this weight, really heavy weight, and hold it in the air. And so sometimes it's hard. Sometimes you just want to not hold it in the air. <laughs> just put it down. <laughs> so um, somebody said something really profound. They said, well, you know, you don't need to understand how it works. What you need to do is feel. Don't you feel something when you're in the current room meditating, when you talk to John of God, when you're at night in bed, when you call upon the entities? Don't you feel something? And I do. I do. So she said, just feel, you know, and that would really help. And then today, I sat in the current room this morning, and there was nothing. I could, in my emotions, there was nothing. No faith no courage, no strength, no trust, <laughs> no um, patience, no joy, nothing, nothing. The only thing that gave me some joy this morning, the thought that gave me some joy, was the thought of committing suicide. Now I understand the people here, because the last five weeks I ran into people that told me that they didn't have any faith, no, didn't have any trust. And now I understand how it feels, how empty, how you know, this prison of empty, of void that they're in. Um, so that was very interesting for me because I've never experienced that before. I've always had a very strong spiritual um, life and belief system and love for God and the invisible. And so it was very interesting this morning. But when one... Um, starts working with John of God, one has to realize that a lot of effort has to be put out. Not only it's a long trip to get here, then it, here it's sometimes circumstances that are not as comfortable than in the US, but it's also an incredible effort to sustain the strength and the trust and the patience and the courage, you know, it's incredible qualities that are kind of superhuman that one has to constantly, you know, get out from the depth of oneself to really feel good about this healing and, you know, not really paying the attention to the pain and the symptoms and the pain coming back and the symptoms leaving and then coming back and back and forth and it's all the entities working. But then, you know, one has to have a steadfast belief in the words of John, of God. <laughs> so, voila. <laughs>